afternoon. Okay, so we're northeast of Thunder Bay, so uh, about 300, well, it's just under 300 kilometers to Thunder Bay from, from here at the Key. And uh, if you look at the big lake, Lake Superior, the, the northern point, you go straight north of there, about 80 miles, and uh, you'll find Long Lake, we're just west of there at Conga, Mississippi. Uh, here we live uh, on 2,000 feet of waterfront. Yeah, if you go on to... Uh, on Google Maps and type in Manistow Key, uh, you'll find where we are. Some of the first videos that we put out uh, included fixing the foundation um, on the house. And we you know, cut timbers and two by sixes and, and uh, I like to fix uh, a section of the house that actually slumped. Um, you know, there was a gopher that had undermined part of the, the foundation and my brother-in-law from southern Ontario came up he's a, a stonemason and had the, the working knowledge to fix the, the actual foundation so he did that work but then we had to get things jacked back up so we uh, modified the, the the underpinnings of the of the of the um, crawl space uh, with new cribbing and posts and uh, timbers going across so what used to be supported, you know, at 12 feet is now supported every eight feet and supported by six by 12s on cribbing. So um, the floor doesn't have any bounce in it at all anymore. So. <laughs> yeah, so the, the pole barn is definitely uh, kind of our, our, uh, our concentration right now. Um, the house, like I said, in Longwack had a, a 26 foot square garage, which was heated, which was great. Um, but moving here, uh, I've also got now got the tractor, the Kubota tractor that you know would be nice to have undercover and whatnot. But uh, I don't have a shop anymore, so I needed some space to put all my uh, my stuff, or as my wife Mari would say, all my junker. What you can see on 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 our videos so far is two thirds of the barn. There's still another shed to be added to the north side of the barn so that the total footprint of that barn will be 40 by 50 which is a good size shop uh, and then we'll have the upstairs which you know long long time away from now it'll probably be a, a little bit of a man cave type thing or whatnot. Video there in September this year of a uh, new uh, fire pit uh, with water view type thing uh, on the property. Um, the area we put it in, uh, we actually had to chew up a half dozen uh, stumps, new and old. Um, and one thing I did find with it, even though it's not its design purpose, is that uh, the Canada U, which is kind of like a, a juniper type thing, that's really kind of a, a stringy uh, tree brush type thing, um, it actually worked wonders on clearing that stuff out as well and just kind of pull it right through the hole whole brush and it, it just chewed it up and turned it into a mulch for us so it was much easier to, to prep the area and get it down to uh, being able to get the bricks down so we could have a, a fire pit with a proper uh, pad on it. We, when we, we moved, first got the property, uh, it didn't have a garden um, and part of the lawn had overgrown with uh, sapling poplars. So we had uh, managed to, you know, cut down all these little trees and, and whatnot, you know, everything from, you know, less than an inch to just about four inches. And uh, it uh, became very useful getting rid of all of that. And we used actually all the chips for a little bit of a trail that we got going towards the uh, east side of the property. And yeah, uh, you stick the trees in and out they come, you know, in comes floating chips. It's just so easy. I definitely come to appreciate what people were saying in the videos and conversation. Even their the product support at Woodland Mills has been excellent. Uh, they've taken care of us, and uh, you know, you read about it all the time. Well, this broke, and I called, and I was going to buy the part, and they just sent it, and, and this kind of thing. That, that kind of product support and backing of the product is 
in this day and age is un that's unheard of. You know, that kind of product support is just simply unheard of. And I think that truly makes Woodland Mills stand out. Um, and I know there's many people that are very thankful for that.